A former water polo player at multiple levels, Gary Robinette turned to coaching age group and high school competition before he found his calling in the sport as a referee. A high-level water polo official for more than 25 years, Robinette whistled at high-level international, collegiate high school and age group competitions. An administrator at the 1984 and 1996 Olympic Games, Robinette wore the white at the FINA World Cup and Olympic Qualification Tournament in a career that spanned more than 85 international matches. Domestically, Robinette wore 23 NCAA men's and women's championships, including 10 title bouts, alongside three U.S. Olympic festivals and eight Junior Olympics championships. Long involved in referee development, Robinette has held roles within SCAF, OSCAF, and the MPSF. He remains involved in the sport today, officiating girls' high school water polo, and as a member of the American Water Polo Collections Committee. Gary began his water polo when playing at Lakewood High, and he reminded me that I had coached him in his last year there as a coach teacher. He was then coached by Ken Hamdor, then off to Long Beach City College he went, and he played for Monty Nitzkowski. Gary obviously was a sponge as he soaked up all the knowledge a young man could have at that time. This young man could not have played for a better group of coaches, absorbing so many, so much about water polo that he soon became a referee. As I first came into the referee ranks, uh, this was a gentleman already refing at a very high level and really willing and able to share his knowledge of officiating water polo uh, to me. And one of the things that was just so amazing is that Gary was a man of integrity and a man that you knew exactly what you were going to get every single time with him. Gary exuded such confidence in the game that he officiated. And on top of that, he had such respect, not only from fans and coaches, but he had such respect for the players in which he officiated. He was amongst not only the two or three top referees in the United States during that period, but certainly one of the top 10 referees in the world during that entire span as well. He did nearly 100 international matches, uh, did a number of international competitions, world championships, FINA Cups. I will say that I think Gary should be on the face of U.S. water polo referees that the Mount Rushmore of faces. Um, he's had that great an impact as a, as a referee. Um, he really did carry the torch um, uh, from uh, the, the early to mid 1980s all the way through uh, the end of the 2000s uh, and early 2010s uh, before he uh, left officiating and uh, helped uh, with the Mountain Pacific Sports Federation, MPSF. Gary was one of the few successful referees that truly exuded priorities um, that were really magnificent and it really struck with me. Um, I called him Uncle Gary and we spent a lot of time together. And um, one of the biggest things that you will never know about Gary is the family man that he is, the amazing father that he is, and the fantastic husband that he is. Just a couple few years before Gary retired, we decided to take a road trip for the MPSF NorCal tournament. And we decided to drive there together. I learned a lot about an individual that I actually thought I knew a lot about, but the passion for his family, the passion and pride he had in his boys and the successful men that they were becoming and how he spoke of them. And it was amazing because he took that same pride into the, sport of water polo. Gary was a focused individual, always appeared to be stern, but he was he was a, uh, a fun loving person at heart. Um, on the pool deck, it was all business. Off the pool deck, it was uh, fun, be it uh, uh, talk about the Dodgers, uh, talk about family, his wife Susan and his two sons. They are the most important things to him. He's one of the best uh, referees of his generation, both the United States and uh, internationally, and will always be recognized as, as such. He always has the drops of wisdom that will get you 
um, as we call the little robinettes of wisdom that uh, are so fantastic. And even to this day, um, I will always cherish the ones that I have. I have a pin here from AYA, the International Association of International Arbiters. And I got this thing a whole bunch of years ago. Obviously, I'm getting free gold. <laughs> and when we meet again, I want you to have this pin and uh, you know, kind of wear it, have a good memory. Mahalo and keep paddling, my friend, old rep, Tom.